Another historic occasion in the construction of uh, the New Bay Bridge. Specifically, we're going to be talking today about uh, the, uh, the completion of the main cable for what will be the world's largest self-anchored suspension bridge. Our contractor has been working diligently since completing the hauling of the main cable um, at the very early first, the first week of April. I think April 5th is when we had the cable in place. Now first of all, there is only one main cable of our self-anchored suspension bridge. That cable is anchored on the eastern side of the bridge. It goes up to the top of the tower. It wraps around the back end at Yerba Buena Island on the western side. Then it comes back up to the top of the tower and anchors in the eastern side. It is the only bridge in the world that does this. So how do we get it out there? We thought we'd show this and make this footage available to you. Um, these are our iron workers um, out in the field placing the, uh, the final strands for the main bridge. We used uh, high definition GoPro cameras on the, um, on the ski lifts that basically lifted these individual strands and pulled them across the bay. Um, you can see Steve Austin, the Bionic Man, following the strand right there. Um, they actually have iron workers that have to uh, completely make sure that the strand lands where it needs to as it's being hauled. And then later, after it completes its, uh, its transition, you actually place it into the, into the cable. So you put your hands up. It's almost like a roller coaster at this point. It goes over the top of the saddle and then heads down. Now there are actually two hauling systems working here. Um, one that takes it the full length of the span over the bay, and then the wraparound is something unique to this bridge. American Bridge Floor Enterprises had to come up with a design that would allow them to take a strand and wrap it around the back end of a bridge, because that hadn't been done before. So as you'll see, as it completes its trip here, you actually have to have a couple of iron workers out there to, uh, to transition the strand onto another hauling mechanism. So here they are, moving the strand onto the secondary hauling system. And then around the back end it goes. Again, this is a completely innovative system, hasn't been done before, worked perfectly for us, placing the 137 of these strands. Uh, that we needed to. If you look down below, you can see there's the main cable underneath. The, the strand that's being pulled right now is being laid into those, into those wheels right there, so they, they sort of resist friction, so you can pull it all the way around. And once you get around the back end of the bridge, there are the iron workers again, ready to transfer the strand onto the, the first hauling system so it can go back. As, uh, as advanced as we are, um, we work with robots, we are not robots. There are a lot of, uh, of craftsmen that work on this bridge, craftsmen and women, um, to, in order to complete an operation like this. And cable hauling was a, many times a 24 hour uh, operation. They, um, they worked well into the night. Uh, nighttime is when most of the um, surveying was done because the main cable as it sits out there in the sun, the steel expands on one side that the sun's hitting. The opposite side is very cold, it contracts, and it, the cable isn't in the, um, in the position that it needs to be. So a lot of work had to happen at night to make sure that we got these strands where they need to be. And you can't get to the point of compacting, what we're talking about today, until every one of those is exactly where it needs to be. Back over the top of the saddle, again that is the world's largest suspension bridge saddle for any suspension bridge because it receives the cable twice. Most suspension bridges have one saddle up there that holds one cable. Our saddle holds one cable, but since it's bent around, it holds that cable twice. It's massive. And then sort of a repeat of, uh, of what you just saw, just now looking straight down above the bay. The strand's on its finishing trip into the anchorage. You can see the previous strand that had been hauled is floating off to the side there. They're in the process of positioning that into the cable right now. So a number of things were happening out there in the field at once. That's what allowed them to, to finish a, a little faster than we had predicted. So it comes down to the anchor, anchor point. You can see again, iron workers waiting to receive the, uh, the strand and then place them down in the anchorage. And we're moving forward into, uh, 
into what we're going to be doing later this summer, which is really big load transfer, where we take the weight of the bridge off of the, uh, of the false work that's down below it and place it onto the cable system. Here's the cable in the field. Um, as it looked just a, just a few weeks ago with all the individual strands around it, you can see that it, it, it's not cylindrical. It actually has a little bit of a, a hexagon pattern to it. And what we need to do is, is use a, com a compression machine to, uh, to get that form. We're going to show you a little bit of what the process is to, um, to actually compact this cable. We're working with devices that were designed by American Bridge Floor Enterprises um, out of Pennsylvania and Texas and built the technology actually comes from uh, Jesse Engineering in Washington and Interpac in Wisconsin. So this is all American technology and American tools that we're using to compact this cable. John Roebling, the grandfather of, uh, of suspension bridges, would recognize this operation. We're compacting the main cable. Uh, the, the compactor weighs 30,000 pounds, and there are four of them. And you can imagine, we had to lift those things 500 feet in the air, place them on a system that would allow them to go down, make sure they couldn't get away from us, because that would be bad. And then this is the compaction machine. The compactor moves very, very slowly. But it travels about 4.9 feet every throw or every instance that it actually moves down the cable. Every suspension bridge has done this. And every time it's a unique compaction machine to that bridge. So this technology, again, designed by American Bridge Floor, built by Jesse and Interpac. The system was tested uh, about two years ago right here in Oakland. You can see the cylindrical form starting to, uh, to appear there as the, the ram arms compress the, uh, the cable into, uh, into a cylinder. The project has, has spanned a, a lot of years and it is in its most visual form right now. We're perfectly on schedule to be opening this bridge to traffic uh, Labor Day weekend 2013.